Yo. That's not the right angle. Aye, that'll do, that'll do. How are you? It's cold. It's chilly cold. Alright, Andrew Radspiel, Pussy Petter, you endure, Toilet Duck, Teen Ape, Zero Emerald. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? What are the chances a guy closed at Halloween dressed as Jack Skellington? No. I once considered dressing up for Halloween stuff and then I just I just imagined having to do it and then I realised that I don't want to. <laughs> that, that was it. That was all the thought that went into it. Hot dogs for dinner? Fuck yeah, I don't remember the last time I had a hot dog, man. When you have the house to yourself for a week, you get to have hot dogs, man. I have not had a hot dog in years. What does it say on your shot? It says... One wet, one dry. And that is Kotaro. Kotaro is a wee otter from YouTube. And it's one wet, one dry because he has a strange habit where um, otters, you just give them like a, you know, cat food. No, like, no, like tinned food, but like dry, dry cat food. That's what they eat. And then... Um, They've got their bowl of food and their bowl of water and Co Kotaro sits in front of the bowl of water and he uses his beautiful darling wee hand. He takes one dry in his mouth and while he's chewing it, he chucks the next one in the water and then eats the wet one and while he's chewing the wet one, dry one, wet. It's just a weird wee habit he's got and Hannah's next to him and she's just fucking scoffing over it. Aye, Kotaro just has this weird wee one wet, one dry. What do you get one? The, the, uh, it's a, it's a YouTube channel. Uh, the channel is called Kotsumet, K-O-T-S-U-M-E-T, -E but if you just search Kotaro and Hana, you'll find them. They're beautiful wee otters that live in Japan, and I love them very much. And I just, I, I bought the, I bought this t-shirt ages ago. Uh, and because it's for Japan, the biggest size you could get was an XL, and it didn't fit me at the time, and now it fits me. So that's pretty nice. Thank you, Kotaro. He believed in me. So I check out Kotsumet on YouTube. Love those wee pals. Hey, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Nothing going on. I've got a bonnet on just because it's a wee bit chilly in here. I might have to put a hoodie on it in a wee bit. It's fine. A motivational otter, that's it. Aye. It makes me want to be a better me. <laughs> um, aye, Kotsumet. It's no cheap. It's no cheap to get this shipped for Japan. But you know what it was like. I really want it. So just, just treated myself. And I, I, I technically supported a couple of oars. That's fine, isn't it? That's a nice thing to do. That's nice of me. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. That was a perfect motion there. Sometimes a shirt is worth $50. Oh, I don't, I don't think that's what it cost me, but... Mm. We'll see. We'll see. I don't even remember what it was. I just remember it was one of the things where I went, oh. Uh, aye, all right. Aye, aye, all right. <laughs> Treat yourself. Where do I go at? Oimo and Kashi. Seen them. Dellinger. Seen ye. Rabian. Seen ye. Black Maria. Seen ye. Don Quixote family. Seen ye. Ideal. Seen ye. Playgrounds. Seen ye. Randolph. Seen ye. Have we seen flapping to Yes, we have seen you. Gats! Holy fuck, it's Gats, the announcer for the... for the Corrida Coliseum fights. Gats was quite good, because it was one of the... where it was like... 
him and the crowd and shit start coming around to like the good the good folk winning you know starting to appreciate like oh m- m- maybe these folk are strong enough to take on the, the cunts that run this country maybe we should support the aim Igaram, we've seen you oh trueno bastardo now that this is so there's Kiros slicing down with the sword against a god I can never remember his name the flag cunt big tall lanky flag dude shit what's his name I've got a card there in the wee the wee, uh, the wee box over there I don't even remember that being the name of the attack apparently it is Trueno Bastardo because it's one of those um you know, one of those, like, for years I've been wanting to fucking do this. And you can see it's cut the cunt sword in half. Man, Kiros, what a G. What an OG. Yeah, let me just put these new ones in a pile of the rain. And then there. Do you have a good Ivankov? I've got a few Ivankovs for previous sets. Um, but I think, I think there's, like... Uh, I want to say there's an alt art Ivankov, maybe one or two alt art ones. I'd really like. I want to see mere impel down stuff. I want this to just be like an impel down set. But this one is a, what is it, Kingdoms of Intrigue. I feel like this should have impel down stuff in it, but. No, really. I mean, it does have some of the. No, it's numbers in it, I'm thinking of the. The thing may be right. Hey, Sony, we know you. Charlotte Barrowa, we know you. Oi, we cash, we know you. <laughs> Daddy the father, we know you. Happiness punch, yep. Yep. Oh, yep. Yep. Harudin! Nice. Nice to see Harudin. So, Harudin is a giant. Let's see, let's see if we can show this, right? You can kind of see. There's, <laughs> there's Usopp there. So that's Harudin holding Usopp's arms between his giant fists to uh, to hold him up and show the people God Usopp. I think that's what that moment is. Pretty sure it is. Uh, my God Usopp being, uh, being held up for the, for the world to see. Harudin is a giant uh, and later becomes a member of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. Even though Luffy isn't fucking bothered about that. Dragon Twister, I've seen you. Wait, hold on. Is that Harudin out there? Oh! Charlotte, a man. No, I do remember her because she's got the mad fucking hat going on. Is there something wrong with my lights here? The, just the lighting looks off. It's kind of hard to see with the shiny, but um, she's got a big mad sword. And she's got the kind of... Kind of Lady Dimitrescu thing going on. Like the big... Big daft hat, and you can't really see it, but she's got aye, see the kind of the belt and shit there. Charlotte, I'm old. I think she was only there during the escape, if I remember. And King, we've seen you. We have seen you, King, but eh, uh, good to see you again, pal. Right, Cairns, done, set them uh, there. Bring this in. Uh, start the game. No, I'll give you the audio first. It's good. I mean, Luffy no killing them with the Grand Fleet is so fucking appropriate, man. Like all these folks swearing loyalty, like right, well, well, uh, we'll sail in your name. No, no, I'm, I don't, I don't want that. Tough, we're doing it. Do what you want, then, lads. Do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, right, Faith, headphones. The volume should be alright, but you can tell me if it is, nay? Is it going to appear? There it is. Loading scriptures, loading blessings, loading hymns. 666 Key Ram saw a star fall from heaven, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Sounds nice. Gary loves you. I know, I've seen those words so many times over the years, but I don't actually know the context. New blood! Uh, 
Ah, you just can tell me about the volume. Sounds alright to me. It's one of like the hardest lines of all time that. And it's said in that fucking voice. Oh, that tune's nice. I feel like I know that. So is that is that an okay volume if I'm talking the new while that's playing? It's a tad quiet, right? In two seconds. Bring it up a wee smidge. How's that? That's playing, there's me talking, we're having a good time. Oh, is that an actual hymn that's playing? Hmm. I do, I know it. Uh, begin, instruction, options, extras. What's instruction? Right. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Psalms. Oh, that was close. Nearly pulled my drink out. Right, we're learning how to move. Is it abide with me, is it? Face demons and cast them out with the space key or A button. Sweet. We're ready. Have a quick look at the old options. Aberration. Yeah, we'll, stick, we'll stick with what it is. I think we heard it says. Background. Oh, that's the bits. See, you just kind of see them. That's the bits at the side of my screen. That's fine. Uh, demons. Oh, you can disable demons at some point. I see. Right. Begin. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3. Marathon mode. We'll go with Chapter 1. Notes to collect. Alright, your game. Flashlight mode, lantern mode, turbo. Jesus Christ, man, I, I hit a new game about three times just to stick. Yes. There we go. Oh, straight, just straight into it. Look at that to hold up the cross. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Oh, they got a wee, wee tiny map there. So that'll be the road that we're on. There's a house at the top. Uh, a cabin on the right. Is that a well in the middle? Oh! Fuck me. <laughs> That's a well. I think I exercised the well. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 pm to 4 pm. Directions. Turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Oh, right, okay. I don't want that white dude to come back. Wait, if that's the well, then I think the cabin would be this way. Mate, don't. Mate! That bones. Get 
cabin. Another note. Oh. The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father already seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father already explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. So, an exorcism on a lassie called Amy. I just, I just saw that fucker. I knew, I fucking knew I was ready for you, mate. I was ready for you. Oh, I take it if I just went up to the house, it would have been locked, maybe. Oh! Sorry. Hello, Jambus Lang. Cheers for the sub. I'm afraid you didn't really spook me, but thank you. Teenate. Hello. Gruffy Bears. Horror Olivia. Hello. No, Teenate, you're already. Well, that makes a sense if I'm going to take the hello back, but. Hello again, Teenate. So I think the house is going to be up and to the left. It literally just started, man. Oh! I don't, I don't know how I held the crucifix up at the deer. Man, I think I'm worried about his missing notes. If there's a lot of other notes scattered about the woods. How am I back at the well? Is that just a different well? I definitely came back and up, I didn't go back down the way. Sun in my eye. Please don't arrive, mate. I've not got a right hand free to hit the A button. I might need to go. Ah, oh, I think I've got an eyelash in my eye. Something just moved in the house. Oh, take me home. Enter the house once again. Okay. Oh, I'm fucking sorry. Give me two seconds and I'm going to look at my eye. I, there's nothing in my eye, I don't know what it is, but it feels like there's something in my eye. Maybe my eye's haunted. Is the volume low? 
Do you mean the entire stream volume or do you mean the game? I've heard people, people have told me before that they have to turn stuff up just to like hear me, but like there is no noise gate on my thing. This is the mic at full normal volume. Everything's normal. I'm that distance away for the mic. The game and the jingle seemed a little low. Hmm. The jingle? Hold on, let me look at the levels here. Jingle, jingle looks loud to me. I don't know what to tell. Gruffy Bears, are you in headphones? Maybe your headphones are breaking. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Loose cable! Gruffy Bears had a loose cable. There we go. <laughs> hey, hey, it's fine. Sorted it. Right. Can we look at the picture? Just exercise the picture. Oh, that'll be Amy then. Any change in the coat pocket? What kind of boots seem like an exercise? I'm really worried how it's just get quiet. You just... I'm really fucking worried. <sighs> Something's gonna get me. Jump out at me. Has a big bed in it. Is the mirror okay? Oh, I don't... Wait. Something behind me. So, something like attached to me. Can he turn around and exercise it? No, can he exercise the mirror? Just don't look in the mirror. Living room. Telly good. There's something strange about like everything being one colour but know the plant. Something in the fridge. Nate. So that was the the name for the birthday invite, wasn't it? That fruit. Banana and an apple. Can I get the back? Maybe Gruffy Bear's fixing the cables. Fuck someone on your end. Ah, that's what it is. Fixed the cables and broke my game. Maybe it's Twitch integration shit. I see blood. What is that at the bottom right? Can I get between them? No. It's a bedroom. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we're working in has a lot of folks who practice Kimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is Saint La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he'd ever prayed, he said no, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in their house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. 
the the evil washing machine no guy have you played the full game of El Paso elsewhere yet no I love it I've no I've no bought it yet but like I really like the demo until the demo exploded on me and nearly deafened me with noise So I get to the sewing machine. No, nothing. Nobody just has this. Nobody's basement just has this. Oh fuck. Nobody's basement has that. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Alred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, mother, mother, the whole time. Finally I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to checking things. I found Father Alred lying on his back unconscious with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. So is that where this happened? Oh! Hey, get yourself to fuck. She is here. Oh, here she comes. Come face to face with Amy. Wait, where am I? I'm upstairs now. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. Found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like I f when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During the conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances, spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Right, so I, oh, I think I just woke up on the bed upstairs, and that's what I was seeing. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East, because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anisha about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. And maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Aye, but there was a wee bit of racism going on there, went there. Hey! No. Amy. Aye, what was that with the. Oh, sorry. Wait, what is that? Crooks, cl oh, it's a uh, crucifix and key. I just the um, the what was it? She looks like she's from over there. Just kind of fucking weird. L looks like the feel over there. Let's try this again. Don't. Wait. Ah, what the fuck? Mortis. How the fuck do you... Hmm. Ah, it's mad rotoscoping, isn't it? She is here. She's here. I'm going to leave the notes the new. And see what's... Right, one, two, three. Oh, got you. I think she said forsake me. For oh, fuck's sake. Don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside or in the house at night. Don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival fun house. 
Amy's condition is only getting worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Let me see if I can go and grab these notes. See you here. Right. One, two, three, four. Oh, you failed me, I think is what she said, not forsake me. It sounded like you failed me. So I'm my father all red. I think your name's John in this. Oh. Right. Go you. Can I go in there? That's fine. Hmm. Daddy. Mommy. I think I'll just I'm just getting the fuck out of here. I think. Unless, back down to the basement, finish the right. I kind of want to go and check out the tree that's on the map though. So I'll keep going down until I see the other well. And then take a left. I just hope that cracker doesn't appear. Oh dear. This that could be the tree. Today I noticed Hemi's favourite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are all the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. Guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. Guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've got an ugly look from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Right, I'm gonna assume the, the clinic chat now is like she wants like an abortion clinic or something. Or is it just like a sexual health clinic? Like they're so religious that sinful just to work at a sexual health clinic. Oh good, another deed thing. Does it? Thanks, Deed Squirrel. Just come back to the house. Think I'm maybe need to do something in the basement, maybe. Oh, so there is more shit out here. It's just new on the on the map. That really worries me that I'm missing some stuff. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Their office is difficult to identify who was buried there. The inscriptions on the grave uh, gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at university in Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. That's that tree again. Oh wait, do you just loop if you go in one direction? No, maybe no, because we've seen... I think I just heard them say, I go unwillingly. 
I don't want to leave, but I will. Right, well. I know you're coming, mate. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr and Mrs Davies have already been contact contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet a representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Dear. Right, house. Basement. Maybe. Oh, bitch. Come in. Oh, she was there. That mannequin wasn't there before. Oh. Back door? Or do you mean upstairs, upstairs? No, just up a set of stairs. Oh. Am I still... Oh shit, right, good. There's, right, there's nothing on me now. Maybe that's good. Was it the attic now? Because we were only on the second floor, weren't we? Oh, that door, aye, the attic. Don't. Jesus, man, this the utter silences. <sighs> Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She killed my superior father something with something when I confronted her she somehow managed to cut the power to the house killed her own parents with their own I have to go back to that house the nightmares I'm having are real she's still there waiting for me I can still help her if I don't come back know that I love you and I'm sorry John but I thought I was John Uh-oh. Oh, I thought I could fix them. Okay. Amy? You good, sweetheart? My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Get out! Oh shit, something's appearing. Oh. More <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like, uh, keep him away and then go at her with the crucifix again. No, just straight up fucking. Ah, uh, okay. Now that looks like the same colour as the thing that was kind of like welded to me when I came in and I could see it in the mirror. So maybe I just need to keep it on her and then, tr then try and avoid it. Right, maybe I can do it for here. Because that's working, so is it still coming for the top right? Right. And then it stops. And then it moves. And then it stops. Hey! Hole in the face. Oh. Oh. 
that one. Oh, Jesus. Right, right, I see. I see. I see what we need to do here, right, that. And then we pick the right one. And then... Holy shit, you don't even... You get like... Right, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Maybe I need to move out the way of the the dash. I don't know. Right, let's see. Oh, right, right, I see. Whew. Oh. Come on, Amy Hen. Fight it. You got to fight it. Right. Oh. This priest has got schmooves, man. Amy Hen, come on. What? Demons are too strong. Hey. Okay. Probably move it the way of the the pentagram that's been drawn, that's fine. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that? Oh. Oh. Right, and then she goes up there, and then she goes down there, and then... Face is great. Holy fuck, man. I think I should move down there. The timing on this is. I, I wasn't even paying attention. I walked right in front of you. Right, she's doing there, and then across there, and doing there, and we hit her with the old. By the way. She's probably coming right at me. Hmm. What am I doing, Rang, there that she's going straight for me and no the shape she was following? Hmm. Not close enough there. She goes across and she goes up. She goes down. And then I'll move. Oh. Oh. Fucking it. What angle am I hitting on it? Or no hitting on it? Ooh. Oh shit, she did four that time. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. Out the way of that. Because I think standing on that is doing me in. Ooh. 
Come on. I forgot about the four. I forgot about the four. I was getting ready to turn and dare there on the left. It's all right. I think I think I've got the got the gist of it here. It's fine. In the way of that. that time. I think this is the four in it. Aye. Oh five. Uh, I don't think I'll be enjoying that actually, thank you. Oh don't stone on that she'll do yet. Move Fuck I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have tried to get that I didn't have enough time to do there. Demons have a lot of health, didn't they? A lot of HP on a demon. Oh shit, I didn't know that curve run under me. You having a good time watching me get fucked up? Again and again and again? I did a boss in Lies a P earlier that wasn't even as hard as this. Oh, past that I was. I was touching it. I was touching it. Yeah. This time. Definitely this time. Right in front of you. <laughs> Two seconds in, can I just get by you? the five on it and then she releases a, a wee demon man. A wee man demon. Oh. Oh. Yes. Get out that lassie. Oh. Oh. How are Christ and all that, you know? First time, the last time. Finish what you started. Ah, oh, this just got the windy. You're fine, hen. There you go. Feeling better, I. Good. We beat the demon. We definitely beat the demon. Aye, aye, that's it. I'll let a candle for you, hen. I think we can probably go to the back door now. Kill her. Oh, mate. Put it in your mouth. No fucking way. You better give me a wee checkpoint here, man.
Oh, we're not going at the back. Maybe at the front. I'm terrified about accidentally pressing A. Hmm. Take it the white man won't come, since I can't even bring out my crucifix. Amy? Maybe the shack? Oh no, the favourite tree? Maybe the favourite tree? Or maybe she's at the car. Or maybe she's in the basement. Maybe she's in the basement and I shouldn't have come out here. Are we going to check the shack? That was me, huh? That feels like a strange ending I just got. Five of five. When faith endures. I like that the, the truck that ran over that guy was an Eldorf truck. Oh. Reach any ending of chapter one. Police, animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal which some residents are calling a chupacabra were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. <laughs> Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic and apparently suffering from the rickets a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. <laughs> uh, fuck it. <laughs> that was ending five of five. Right.
So, holy shit, I found 15 of the 20 notes. That's mental. Um, if I continue, right, let's see. I'll go to the cabin. Actually, no, we'll check other bits of the house first. Like maybe Amy's room. You know? Before I go and look at the cabin. <laughs> the fucking chupacabra coming at me. Or the toy room. Oh. Amy? Check the cabin. Oh, oh fuck, it's a drop of water. Got a wee fright there. What is the actual thing that your DOS emulating here? It, like, it, the closest that I ever played that was like this was like um, BBC Micro Games. But I don't know if there's like another specific one. Just reminds me of BBC Micro. Just Atari? Really, just straight up Atari? See, I, nah, I never, never played Atari or that. Just reminds me of playing, um, what was that game on the BBC Micro where you had to like, you were like, uh, use the arrow keys to control a jeep and there was lions and stuff, I think it was maybe like some kind of safari type game. We had it in primary school, it was great. Oh! Are you... Oh, is it called Safari? Maybe that's what it's called. You good, hen? Not IP. My work here is done. I'm going to Tim Hortons. I don't even know what way the car is. I think it's doing here. Oh, what's this? Just nothing. Just a bit. Just no music. Wait, does that mean the chupacabra is going to get me at my car now? I don't have a gun to protect myself. Aye, there you go, Aiden. I bury me with my crucifix. I had a BBC Micro at home that we got from a closing down school and was selling it off dirt cheap and I fucked on a mostly unlabeled discs. That's the good old days. The good old days. I think about the, the wee boy whose mum and dad we sold their old Dreamcast two years ago and the the folder of like 250 games he got with it. What a lucky, lucky wee boy. They saw me shooting a child in the woods back there. <laughs> Aye, they, stand, they saw me. Straight up murderer. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of Sterling girl of a Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over in Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. Uh, when questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her, according to the police report. The officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. 
Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. Alright, so it's the classic, like, oh, strange to be us, we've never heard of him. The rest of the article is missing. Jesus. So that was ending one, we've had ending five. So we'll try approaching our and no shooting the gun. No. We won't pick up the gun. I just hope that the the old, you know, troop of Cabra Disney come visiting. Mate, what if I did that? <laughs> Amy? Please don't kill me. Oh. I mean, maybe it's one of those where, uh, like, where I'm right now at the checkpoint. I'm at a, an impasse. Look, I would need to do different things to get to a different. And if I go down the thing, that's when the chupacabra comes. You can get all the endings from here, really? Okay. Um, so this isn't working. It's no direction you can approach for. Hmm. Here's this cunt again. And I can't go in there. No, can I go back in? <laughs> I'm going to go into the basement. Just double check. Oh. That's fine. A chupacabra. Oh, what? Ble oh, was it just a bit? I was a bit of a joke about blessing the water. I caught some people walking through the woods around this house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking, pointing them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Now we've already met and it said something like Chaos Reigns. Maybe you're a different one. Like, is there just an end point if you just keep going in one direction or does it loop? Because it feels like it's looping. That feels like a loop to me. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I thought something weird was happening there. I thought I was having a wee moment with the deer. Right, I think straight up will take us to the house. Maybe no? Am I that far away? But no, because... Ah, there we go. Nothing. Hmm. 
Hmm. What if I pick up the gun and just shoot it? Go through anything. You know? Are you, were you there last time? Aye, maybe you were. Can I exercise the fruit? Can I go out the back door? The silence is fucking... <laughs> making me feel weird. It comes back. I've done murderer. I've shot the. What if I shoot the the running dude? You know, Mister. Maybe I should shoot him. But he almost looks like a ghost. You know, he almost looks kind of spectery. Where are you, mate? So that was the colour of the dudes that were like following me about, wasn't it? Where's Amy? Swap back to my car. The body disappeared. So maybe that means we're safe. Father, forgive me. Is this the murderer my ending again? <laughs> I think it said father. Okay. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. He must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Is that Michael, the the white dude? We've had one, two, and five. We need to figure out three and four. Can we shoot the mirror? I don't know what that would do, but... Oh! I cracked it, but... Is that it? Just... Just cracks the mirror. What if we shot the picture of the family? Oh wait, oh shit, bad luck, eh? The old, um, the old mirror. That's probably gonna... 
come back to haunt me in some way. Let's take the gun. And we're gonna go left, out here. Maybe to the graveyard, maybe to the, the magic special tree. Approach her with a gun. Still? Is your man still there? Yep. Hmm. I'm struggling to think of anything different I could do here. She's outside, that guy's out there. If I go to the car, you know, Mr. Chupacabra time appears. Hmm. Shoot the car. <laughs> hey, fuck. Shh. Wait, can we go this way? No, okay. Mr. Chupacabra no appear this time. Hmm. Here's the tree. I'm trying to think what else I could do other than um My br you know, my, my mind's doing that thing where I'm like, I shot the mirror. The mirror's a reflection. The words kill her are written backwards. As if that means anything. Maybe it does, but my... I'm just desperate to figure something out. Here, hold on. These were here, but the trees were only here before. I don't think. Wait, have we, we've not looped there, have we? Already? Maybe I should... Have I just stared at the mirror for a wee bit? Maybe, maybe something will happen. I've shot Amy, I've shot the other guy. I've shot Chupacabra. We've got one, two, and five. <coughs> Can I go in the back of the house or anything? No. Who's that other one that I show in the woods? Oh, the mirror's still going to be broken, isn't it? Well, let's just lock it for a bit then. Sorry. I've seen if it would happen. Really sorry if you're wearing headphones. But that's Halloween. Hmm. Shoot it again. Oh, I don't know, I suppose. They, they keep giving me a gun, I might as well try shooting it again. Let's see. What 
if this time the bullet came through the mirror and hit me. Oh. Hey. I see what we're, I see what we're doing here. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just don't like teleport so I'm running into you or anything, because that's quite shite. You're going a wee bit faster than I would like. <gasps> the secret boss! October 23rd, 1986. Dear Dr. McGlashan. It has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinnell, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and has helped me to find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinnell's help, I have uh, come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I am happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since first coming here, I respect f respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute, contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinell in the future. Sincerely, John Ward? Ooh. But that's... me. Need reflection any mere. Okay. Okay. How's this lamp doing? You good? So, we go at the thing. But that wasn't an ending, it was just a, a secret boss to fight. So, I'm gonna go and get the gun. I'm gonna go back up to the attic. And it's probably not a thing, but there's a fucking... One of the mannequins in the attic has blood, like a blood face drawn on it. Just curious. Nothing in here. Hey. You know what, I can just fucking... I thought I'll just try it. I can go and get another gun, no bother. Was there anything else that moved? I've done them. What if I shoot the deer? <laughs> what if I go and shoot the deer? Are these toys haunted? I just realised there we've got like Simon Says, we've got an etch a sketch, you've got that thing you push and the wee balls go up and down. You've got, oh, what was the name of that phone? I think it had that wee face on it. Ah, the, the, the wee wheels. Can I mean the name yet? I'm trying to think of anything else that was moving in the house. A gun with one bullet. A speaking spell. Is one of them a speaking spell? Let's go find that fucking deer. I think when I walked this direction, I came to the clearing with it. I don't know what killing a deer's going to do, but 
It's the only other moving thing I can think of that I could interact with with a gun. I think I'm maybe one up too high. Aye. Because there's... There's old... Old pushy away, and I think it was at the... Far away side of this? Maybe? Let's see how many screens across it goes. So that's two. This is three. to be Israeli. How are you? I like that he's no really even holding the gun like the sprite, isn't he? It's still just walking behind the gun. The deer is off a normal path. A normal path? What you mean like doing and doing and then across? Let the gun guide my hand. Dear, up here. I feel like I encountered the deer, like, up the top right for some reason, but that was just my idea of where I was at the time. Because I hadn't like, had figured out the looping yet. Let's go doing. Right, this is going to be the deer path. Surely. Ooh! Just hell. You ever seen this yet? I think I'm just going to get ended two again. Will the Chupacabra gives me a wee heat massage? Oh! Was that dear revenge? Oh, fuck off. Come on to fuck. <laughs> okay. The Hunter. So we've had one, two, four, and five. We just need to get ended three. Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6am this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a clean white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets £75 of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry £25 back to the car. <sighs> New effect unlocked. 
New effect? Oh, is that an Oregon Trail reference to £25? Right. Right. Ah, very good. New effect. Oh. Is that just everything's red? That's gonna... That would just make it too hard for me to see what I'm... What I'm looking at. So what's that with it? One, two, four and five. Ending three. What else could I possibly interact with? We've shot the Shadow Man. We've shot Amy. We've shot the Deer. We've shot the Chupacabra. We've shot the Mirror. Was there anything else that moved in the house? Did I check the coat? I think I checked the coat. Aye. We've shot, we've tried shooting the painting. Tried shooting the mannequin upstairs with the dots on it. Have you shot the mirror enough to break? Aye, aye, we did, did that, fought the secret boss. Aye, I think we are missing... A couple of notes. Oh shit, I can't check for here, can I? Oh no, but there we go. Oh no, that's just to read the collection. Aye, well, hold on, I can check the notes here, I think. Aye, if we just go in. Um, begin, chapter one. 17 out of 20 notes, so... Missing three. Hmm. What do I want? I'm just thinking, see the wee shack out in the woods? You know, the wee, the wee shack that I went into before. Was there a board across the door? When I went into it the first time? Or is the board new? Like, shoot, shoot the board away and then... I, I might be massively overthinking it. Wait, what about the fucking picture on the fridge? No. <laughs> I thought because there was a monster in the picture it might be a thing. That's just another, another wee idea. What if you blasted a hole in the door? No. I'll take a hint. I will take a very small wee hint. Happily. Is the mirror still just broken now? Oh, it's back. God bless yourself. Hmm. I'm really struggling to think what else could be unless it has something outside that I've just not come come across yet from you know looping looping around we all walked the road you know just the the a lap of the road see where it loops me Just looks like a big fag that's hanging out his mouth. It's you, I know that picture. Mortis. Cheers, mate. He didn't appear the last couple of times I went down there, though. That was weird. That's weird. 
Look, he did, like, the last few times I was doing there, he didn't appear. What if... <laughs> what if we shoot Amy, the Shadow Man, the Deer, and the Chupacabra? <laughs> and then just get in the car and go. I mean, it kind of also looked like I could get to the car before the Chupacabra got to me, if I hadn't panicked. It kind of looked like that. That's what you did for ending five, did I? Oh, aye, right enough. Aye, aye, I did. It would be the same as no shit. Aye, of course. <sighs> aye, just some somebody gives a hint. Oh, if I shoot the favourite tree, nothing. Just somebody just point me in the right fucking direction here. Something I've seen in the forest. Something I've seen in the forest. Oh, is it that? Is it that bit that looks like a wee empty pond? You do. Know that bit we've already we've interacted with that. It's a bit where it's, it almost looks as if it's been like the outline of a pond that's dried away. Oh, there's you. You were the, the chaos reigns, weren't you? I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. There's a well. Man, the, no music, there's just something about it. That thing, that's the thing I was thinking of. But I don't know what it is. Like, it looks like it's been a fucking, um... Pond or something, that's that's what I was thinking of. Still kinda go in there. Your man just runs away. <laughs> oh wait. Is it this thing that I thought was bones? Nah, that kinda feels if it is just meant to be bones. From El Chupacabra, the goat sucker. I'll go get the gun and see what's happening. Oh shit, back here. You're fine pal, don't worry. God, did you see the message about Chaos Reigns being a reference? No. Messages about Chaos Reigns being a reference? A reference to what? Right. A gun with one bullet. Reference to a scene from the movie Antichrist. Antichrist, that's not the Willem Dafoe one, is it? Or am I thinking of a different film? It is, alright, aye. Where, like, 
the first thing in the film is real shagging by body doubles, but. Don't worry, mate. It's just a gun! I'm still thinking about the thing that I thought looks like a pond. This thing. Oh, sorry, hen. They mean to disturb you. Where's the wee, the wee squirrel? Sorry. the favourite tree. There's the car. How have I missed the, the sacrificed squirrel or whatever it was? Didn't the chaos reigns part? Doing this just in case, just to see. Wait, that changed? Maybe it didn't. Maybe I'm imagining shit. Across from the deer? Is it in the same one as the deer? The same loop? Right. Him. Mr. Chaos Reigns. Wait. The only thing I can think of here is, is it like a rock missing for here? Forgive me. That can't be an ending. <laughs> Just shitting that thing. I am thinking... I'm thinking I maybe need to get a rock for here, but I don't know if I can just pick up a rock. Like that. You know? Oh! You went home. Oh, it's like a fucking pentagram, isn't it? Boom. 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 But what do you do with that? So you've got a pentagram. Thought moving in the shape would do something. Oh, I don't see this rock. That's the only one that blocks your path. It's pointing down though, isn't it? Technically. The pentagram's technically pointing down. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I 
I just... I'm just a priest. Just a priest. You know what? I killed that thing. I'm getting in the car and see what happens. I'll just see what happens. <laughs> I shot a dead squirrel, fox, whatever it was. Hope I stand right in the middle of the pentagram. Uh, nope. To the call, John. In silence. See if this fucking chupacabra comes. Don't. Hello, lads. Did I mess up the ritual? Be funny if you just went in reverse. The offering. The offering. I think that's all five endings. Hello. Oh. Find all endings in chapter one. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It's hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you're only 17, but you're clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mum and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We are having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mum and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary! Of Gary Loves You fame. New chapter mode unlocked. I think we go to a new game and then walk by faith, not by sight. Darkness surrounds the. Alright, so it's fucking. Warning Jack. Okay, hold on. So. We finished chapter one. Time is it? It's 29. I think we should just start chapter two. Aye, fuck it. Wait, 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 hold on actually. Two seconds. Wonder where the other three notes are. Chapter 2. Prologue not yet unlocked? Prologue not yet unlocked? Alright. Oh! This looks like a different dude in a different place. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Wait, have we read this? Mr and Mrs Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation and return for the discretion. Aye! You will meet a representative there and come him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. So I think this is Father Garcia, maybe? Got a wee holy book there. Nice wee reflection. Hmm.
one day. Two weeks. Three months. Looking very chupacabra-ish, my man. Quite. Wait, but that's so that's the demon calling him a dickhead because it knows he's Father Garcia. So it's like, ah, oh, here's a wee thing in your own language, pal. Michael, you're testing me, son. Oh dear. We'll just go to the stairs. Father Garcia, what have you done? Well, he took the photo. He took the three weeks photo with him. Michael? Are you eating a neighbour? Sounded like Michael said, I have the body of a pig. Wait! Was that Garcia in the woods that I show it? That was the run! That was Garcia's run! Shit, where did that come up there? I missed it. Fortnite dancing out there. They had to get a do out there. Did that say weeks later? Oh, it said it's 2 a.m. Right, so, hold oh, on. Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Press the escape key, the start button is a good way to remember what you don't realise you've forgotten. Oh, right. right. Oh, nothing. No map. <laughs> this crucifix is white instead of gold. That was Nimi. Notice a viso. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. So, hold on. Hold on. So that was Garcia I shot in the woods. But assuming that was him out looking for Michael, why would he just run for me? And am I even John Ward right now? I know that I'm the... I know I've got the blue gear, but that's just a normal white crucifix. And what? What am I doing here? Oh! I shook hands with the devil, I looked him in the eye, he looked like a long lost friend.
Dearest disciple, verily not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the save family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. The save family. Okay. All right. Nice to see you. Looking good. What? John, what was happening with your reflection there, son? Showing you a key and smiling. Um, did you catch who wrote that note? I didn't. Eh? Oh shit, Gary, I saw this. So, both of the ones from Gary have been in red, and I think what we read was that Gary worked at the clinic with Amy. Something I meant to ask, we see those five endings to chapter one there. Which was the real one? Was it ending five? No, that was me getting it. Was it? When I get arrested? No, no, I didn't get arrested, did I? Who was it that I did? It was a Chupacabra. The Chupacabra man was number five, is that right? Where I shot it and bounced. Aye. Right. So I killed Michael. But Garcia and Amy were still in the woods. Okay. So I'm noticing they're all pointing different directions. None of them are pointing down. Oh shit. Fuck right off, mate. Oh, fuck, he got me. Mortis. Okay. Okay. Clouds make it a wee bit hard to see. Oh. What? Oh shit, is that what looking in the mirror does? It literally, the key is to let you know that it's unlocking the bits. I think that's what that was. Three of them, right, aye, aye. So what I'll do is... I'll come out, they're open, and then I'll go back in so it saves. There we go. Cool. Let's see about killing this wee baby ghost. Remove. Whoa. Where is it? Oh, oh! Nice. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I've ever experienced. We were, we were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much I was willing to try anything. That night my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement, I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. 
Oh, the heads are gone. looking at those clouds at the side, I wonder if they're actually stopping me going there. Ah, so maybe I need to do something somewhere else to clear this. Aye, okay. Listen, okay. Anything new happening with the old mirror? No. Oh, and one of those, the eyes are out on one of them. The skulls. Man, but anyway, you can convey a skull in such a tiny wee, tiny wee area. That's impressive. There's a skull right there. Alive, are you? It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was a training advisory for the United Navy and Cindy was a CPA, and more recently a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969 in Voluntown, though not particularly religious. They taught their children to be kind, generous, involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at Telling Tellinghurst Funeral Home uh, at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. Are you are you cool? Just you look a bit reaperish. Hmm. So the Martins are dead. Amy's out there somewhere. Gee, oh, you moved, did you? I see. I see how it goes. Hey. Just, just a wee freak out. Just a wee scare. Um, Nate, I think, was the one that had the drawing on the fridge. Oh. Please don't do that, mate. What direction? No. Fuck. Oh, thank fuck, I gave my wee checkpoint there, that's nice. Let's see what happens if I don't turn round for the steps. Or if I walk into them. Ah, that's what I thought. You'll do nothing. Right. Tree baby this time. Sounds like it's saying I will help you. So I think I'm going to the left. Oh fucking hell. Oh it's not actually coming for me, it's m just moving there and I was in its way. Right, aye. Aye. So if I maybe go down the bottom a bit and I can get it on a, a flyby. It's a demonic dat boy. Fuck, is it? I didn't get a good look at it, but now that you're saying that. Dat boy, remember? Dat boy. Oh shit, he coming. 
God, it pretty much is, isn't it? And then if I go here... Oh no, it does! Right, it does still aim for you, but it's in a weird kind of... arc. Got you on the flyby, mate. Oh! You're gone. Checking these. Check these. Hmm. Nope. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was, she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Bloody Gary. So is this going to be another one missing from here? Yes. It's just you and me. Sir. It's locked. Okay. Maybe those clouds are away? The fog? Oh, wait a minute. What are they telling me the way through the fog? So, like, right down, left up? I think that's how they're pointing. Let's try that. Right. Oh, no. Oh, this one's pointing up here, I think. I think it's like right up, left, up, up. Maybe. If I can cam that. Hey. Oh, that wasn't really doing anything, was it? Away you go. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day my body wills away, but by night my mind explodes forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I have <laughs> I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon's seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five, first at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. So we've already seen the rocks at the start of this. So I wonder if we can do anything with them. Let's get a wee save here. 
Oh, that's different. That's all fucked up now. Oh, maybe now the reflection I got. Oh, oh, there it is, waiting. I said Gary, the, the John reflection will give me the key now. Oh! I'm bleeding. Kind of looks like I'm bleeding at Mars. No, this would let me draw the point in the woods, wouldn't it? This would let me draw it. I've got a key for the gate up there. But I think I want to go back and draw this. Let me just double check that note. What one was it? It was the one that said, like, I am free. Uh, land the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point, and then down. So I think it wants me to go... Maybe. I'm just assuming that this is what... The fact that you can draw lines on the ground, I'm just assuming this is what you can do. Surely. Ah, oh, no. The, oh, wait. Funny if you just bled out before you even got there. Right. So. Start for here. Oh! like a fucking terrible pentagram, mate. What does it mean? Stuff's happening. I don't know what it does. It's really hard to do diagonals well with these controls. Sweet. Don't know what that did, but... Oh! You're the first person in a long time I've seen immediately think to do this. Just fucking... As soon as I saw the blood, that just... No, that looks like the statue that was next to the save place. Really hope that thing doesn't get me before I... Jesus. Hope it doesn't get me before I... Get to the save. Hey! I win. Notes, new patient initial consultation, subject, John Thomas Ward. Present, Dr. James Spinner. Dr. Spinell? PhD in two orderlies. Subject, non-responsive for first half hour, followed by fragmented exorcism narrative. Subject, unable to maintain consistency in story, for example, stating that Amy was in the basement and then saying she was in the attic. Subject, uh, insists incident was the result of demonic possession. Cannot declare subject of sound mind, will require several more sessions to fully understand subject's mental state, will advise Martin family attorneys. So that means when we get up here, that shape should be missing for next to the save thing. Maybe. It's good that I stopped bleeding just by summoning some kind of... some demon. Oh no, it's back to normal. Oh, it was all fucked up because maybe that was it, just waiting. Waiting to come and get me. Oh, bleeding once again, okay. The, the, the memory of this room brought back the blood. So, I take it this is me unlocking something to go below ground because I don't see where it could be stopping me getting. Ooh! 
Solve the riddle of Gallop Cemetery. Okay, done. Oh, that was a that was one of the things I was fighting. Was that? She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. Children fear her. I hath not seen her. Confess thy sins. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was most of the stories we'd heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will not move when you do but never try to trick her. That's no a rhyme. That Disney rhyme. Uh, awesome, we're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Right, we'll get candles here. Did that just open? That was weird. Oh, it's pews, it's pews. I wonder what I was looking at there. Oh, stuff's happening. So that's the hand out the face, very much like Amy. Oh, sweet. Night two, we're going to be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off of shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, when we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts and we got it all on film. We're going to make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. What is going on with that? It looks like it's a staircase opening. Hold on. But there's nothing... Is this like some shape pews? Watch the candles. Oh. Oh. Okay. Watch the candles. So there's two. The candles tell me what direction she is if she's walking about. Oh, 
Or is it the candle showing me where I am on the map? I feel like the candles are showing me where I am. Like, if I go through here, it should be the bottom left candle that's lit. No, both of them. There's another skull. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Can he go in? No. Oh. Pray for me, Father, for I have said. What seats have you yet to get this? I try to save a girl from evil. But my fear so overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again. But in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform this act of adoration. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Well, I'm feeling really good about that interaction. Where the fuck am I? The, um, the fact that that was red text makes me think of Gary. Um, what I really wish John had said there when he's like, Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I wish he'd been like, I killed a chupacabra. The priest was like, don't worry about it, mate. It was actually a child that was possessed, so it was a good thing. Well done. Night one, we still haven't found a way into the basement, we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession, but oh, I went through there, right? Leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get the boards off some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it in the sound gear once we get back into town. Right, I'm watching the candles. I'm always watching the candles. See, why is everything shaky now? <gasps> that... That'll be hard then. Oh, never try to trick her, of course. So see right now, that's the game telling me that I'm on the left center, she's in the top right, I think. And now I'm in the bottom, le bottom left, she's in the top center. Think. Now I'm here and she's in the top right, okay. So hold on, I'm trying to think what I'm doing here then. Because I think I wanted to look outside and just check left and right and then up for this that we person ran. Just want to check. The same room as her. Alright, oh, so it just loops there. So it's saying she's in the top right. See, she's still on the top right. She's still up there. This isn't a tricking, is it? Isn't we just gone there? Oh, 
And the candle implies she's here as well. Oh! Shit. Oh, don't put me back there. Don't put me back there and make me have to grab this again. That's going to be a really fucking annoying checkpoint. There's there's no way I'm not getting killed again on the next one. So she's there. She's still there. She's still there, right? Let's see. I think that room had a wee bit more space to go about in. Right, she's in here. It's the... I see this kind of shit getting in my way. That's what worries me. Right, so she does bang, 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 and then she... Bang, 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 and then... She hit her on the way by. Ah, shit. Missed that one. This is awkward. Ah, oh, man. I'm hitting A before I aim. We're okay. Oh, fuck. Ah. Oh. She moves for the third... For the third position, right. Aye. I had no... That hadn't really clicked there. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Ooh. Alright, it was a drive-by blessing. What did it mean by never try and trick her? Did it count as tricking her because if I, if I just quickly went between two rooms? I think that's maybe what the game was like. Trick her. Man, I think every one of these rooms has got a bit of a... Oh, she's through there. No, she's... So she's through there. That might give us a bit more space if she stays through there. No. Nah. Come on in, what are you doing? She's back through there. No, wait, that's a tiny wee room through there. Right, here we go. Same room. Right, where are you? Okay, one, two, three. Sophie there. That's mere space to play with, that's better. Just need to watch how close she appears. Oh, missed. Don't be too close, please, like that. Sounds like she said karate. She's fucking done. But what does that mean? And what is... What is... Oh! Ah! So we were... See, I think when we were coming in here, we were seeing the door close over the stairs. There we go. Darkness surrounds thee. Oh, good! Loving that happens. Who's watching now? Reach the basement of Snake Meadow Hill Church. Okay. Is that a fucking... Reference to... I always feel like somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. Ooh. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on the page of the a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now the hands don't move past 2 a.m. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest light shine and protect. Uh, from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man, going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. 
And we've got bones. Of course we've got bones. What the fuck are we walking into? Oh, who was that? Oh god, is that... I'm going to take a photo of that on my phone because I'm assuming it's going to have some relevance, maybe. Let me take a wee snapshot of that. Cool. I'll set that there so I can see it. Okay. Okay. Thinking this one. I thought I was going to be doing something with that there. What happened? Hmm. Try that again. You know what my thinking there was? See, because they said the hands don't move past 2 a.m. And the wee, the one that's like at the 2 o'clock on the thing that looks like a wee kind of like a dumbbell. Uh, that's why I went to that one. I'm like, oh, 2 a.m., maybe that's a thing. But um, then I stood on that spiral and. See, look, there's a. Sp right, hold on, how many is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Those two in the centre far right. Oh no, they are on that. They are. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is there one missing? The nine one is missing, I think. See, um. The one at nine o'clock, the kind of three arrows pointing in different directions. I think that one's missing. Because I don't know what the fuck that is at the very end. That looks more like blood than any of the symbols on the wee... The wee thing. Oh no, sorry, it's right there. What am I talking about? The nine is right there. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh wait, see that symbol? The um, that one at the bottom right, that was left on the floor when Amy jumped out the window. Did. So when I run back and step on that other thing, you can see something for a brief second. This is weird. Is it when I turn rune? Or is it wait until the last minute? Mmm. I thought I could like, wait to the last minute to step on it and then... Oh, hold on. Nah, I thought I could time that right. Nah, I think I'm misunderstanding a puzzle type thing here. I'm looking at the numbers. No matter what one I step on, it does that. The way they're lined up, you've got 12, 7, 8, and 9, 
12, 7, 8, and 9. And you've got 6 and 5 and 10. And you've got 2, 3, 4, and 1. It's not as if it's like stepping on them in order either, is it? Because no matter what one you step on, it starts that shit. Indeed. More this. Hey. Is there something in here I'm missing? Time doesn't change down here, as we know, on the surface, even now the hands don't move past 2 a.m. That's going to be significant. Well, I'm saying 2 a.m., just 2 o'clock. That's going to be significant. It's like shame to take things to speak. Oh, God, help me, Father Clark. I feel like my God. Uh. Unless I'm missing a wee thing, like a wee torch type thing, but it doesn't feel that way. This is strange. <sighs> is it definitely every single one you step on? Let's see. Seems like it. I'm dead. Oh, just made it back to that. Game. Cause two would be the one above me there, and then the dumbbell. Like, but it's nothing, it's nothing, it's, you can't even see anything. Alright, Stina, how are you, pal? I'm even thinking of the, the stained glass windows up there in case that's anything. Try the dumbbell again, please. I'm pretty sure I started with the dumbbell before. Oh! Wait. That's two. Maybe then I should go to three. Three. Do they just want me to count? Four. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Mother of Demons. Mother of Demons. Make sure there's nothing defined here. Hello? Outside! That door is the eight symbol, one of that means in it. I'm ready, man. I'm ready for anything that comes calling. Oh, right. I guess we're going to do it then. I suppose it's kind of a path, in it? Probably follow that. Oh, what are they running for? What are they running for? Nah, we'll go. We'll go and check it out. Maybe it's fine. Okay. I see more numbers. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings. Sterling, Connecticut. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night and what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, uh, Angel Nogales and Troy Ingles are the names of the uh, unfortunate victims who were apparently styled multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Uh, Pandemonium Regna what is 
pandemonium regnant. Uh, two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where the residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators uh, would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols and blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Stirling area since uh, 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, 17 year old girl, by John Ward. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. I didn't though. Or she just died out in the woods? Because it said she had like a hole in her stomach. No, that was when I shot her. Maybe the hole in her face did it. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogales and Ingalls because, after all, they were degenerate devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favour when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignore their cries for help, their pleas for mercy, you put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies and then you chopped off their heads because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. <laughs> Thou shan't, shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door, her hand is at thy throat, yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium regnat satani vitae, 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 I've lost it, I've lost it. The controller is rumbling like mad, there's an inverted crucifix. I'm here, John. Oh, there's Amy and the lads. John, what have you done? What the fuck? John. Oh fuck! Hello! They're just up in a bridge fixing their car. Candy tunnel. What the fuck is happening? All good. Enter the candy tunnel, I very good. Did the game just save there? I think it's saved. I think it's saved. I think I might, we might need to call it a night there. I think we may need to call it a night there. Quarter to ten. So that's why it's said about Amy being killed. So, the people who were in that saved tomb that were disappearing was because I was killing them among the graves and that was them. Oh. What's happening to John Ward? Let me check something. Let me see where that is saved. Huh. 
hurry. I think it saved when we walked into the candy tunnel. It did, good. I will call that a night there, I think. It's amazing what you can do with just like some really simple wee fucking visuals. Hmm. I like the, the music change when the when the kind of tone of the letter was changing. I mortis indeed. Oh man. Oh, I'm tired and fear. Cool. Aye, very good. Uh what day is this? Tuesday. So, the more I night, it'll be Alone in the Dark 2. We'll play some more of Alone in the Dark 2. That was a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff happening there. It's good, though. It's good fun. Well, you know, fun. <sighs> Is the new Alone in the Dark out this year? Uh, early next year, I want to say. I want to say, like, February. I think it was meant to be this year, and then I think it got pushed. January. January 2024. January 16th. Uh, it was either meant to be out this month or November, I think. And they pushed it to January. <sighs> oh, I'm ready for my bed. Might sleep with the light on. Oh, cheers for joining me, folks. Use, take care of yourselves, brush and flush your teeth, wash your arse, and try to be the best person you can be in your day-to-day -day life. And I'll see you another time.